Hello traders, hope you're doing well. After a long break, we are recording this video. There are four important local and global market updates which I want to share with you. After discussing about that, quickly we will analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty chart. Now the first important update is Iran President Ibrahim Raisi is no more. While coming back from Azerbaijan in a helicopter, he met with an accident. Many people are saying this is because of the fog or natural calamity. But some are still suspecting that Israel can be the reason behind this. As of now, there is no confirmed proof that Israel has been involved. Iran close partner Russia also they have sent some people here to investigate on this matter. In case this is a natural calamity, no problem. It won't affect our market. But in case if they get any kind of proof that this death is not natural, other countries has involved, then this will create geopolitical tension. This might also lead to World War III. So this news is very important. We have to closely watch this news and see for regular update. As long as it is natural death, no problem. This is the first update I wanted to discuss with you. Now the next thing which I want to discuss about is Adani Ports. Recently we have got an update saying that Norway Government Pension Scheme Fund they have removed Adani Ports from their list. Now this is a negative news for Adani. One of the main reasons why they have removed Adani from their pension fund is because they feel company is unethical. Right. I don't want to go more in detail about this, but if you hold Adani Port stocks, I would highly recommend you to go and check out this article. Now here you can see Norway Bank said that it has decided to exclude Adani Ports due to unacceptable risk that the company contributes to serious violation of individual rights in situation of war and conflict. Now one important section which I want you to read in this article is here it says billionaire Gautam Adani Port major was on a Norway central bank watch list for possible exclusion from its investment since March 2022 due to its involvement in a port terminal in Myanmar. The company sold that port project last year. In a separate statement Norway Council of Ethics noticed that no information of the buyer is available making it impossible to ascertain whether Adani Ports still have ties of the division. Now I personally I don't hold any Adani stock. If you are holding the stock please go and refer this article. Now the next update also is stock specific where I want to speak about IDFC Bank. This is the third or fourth time I am speaking about IDFC First Bank merging with IDFC. Now in December 2023 itself the Reserve Bank of India had already approved the reverse merger of IDFC Limited with its banking subsidiary IDFC First Bank. Now what will happen when this merger completes? Now there are two stocks here. One is IDFC, another one is IDFC First Bank. So if you have 100 shares of IDFC, when this merger happens, for every 100 shares, you will get 155 shares of IDFC First Bank. So in the future, IDFC will be removed from the market only IDFC bank will be there. Now this is just like how HDFC and HDFC bank merger happened right. Same thing they are going to implement here. Now traders me personally I have been accumulating IDFC stock from quite some days because there is an arbitrage when this merger happens. Also I have done the fundamental analysis. I feel the stock still has more potential to grow. That is why for long term I am investing in this stock. Now what is the arbitrage which I am talking about? If you see IDFC, this stock is trading around 114.35, 114.35 into 100. So what is the amount? It is 11,400 rupees. Now here for every 100 shares that you have of IDFC, you will be getting 155 shares of IDFC First Bank. Now at what price IDFC Bank is trading? It is trading at 77.45 right 77.45 into 155 it is around 12,000 so there is a 600 rupees difference this is the arbitrage benefit which I am talking about so this is the third time I am speaking about the stock this is not any investment advice I am just asking you to add the stock in watch list in the future when this merger happens circulation of IDFC first bank stock in the market will be more right so this stock has a potential of reaching 100 rupees also. I cannot say immediately this will happen. Maybe around 6 months or 1 year this might happen. Don't take my advice and do the investment. Contact your financial advisor before you make any kind of trading or investment decision. Now the next important thing which I want to speak about is gold. You can see from quite some days gold has been moving towards the upside. At some point of time we could see there was a small correction. But now again gold is picking up. Now this is because China, Russia. Turkey, even India for that matter, everybody is importing gold, right? Russia, China always have problem with US. For them, protection is gold. 
they are buying gold in huge quantity because of huge demand gold price also has seen some increment but i personally feel if you look at gold market it has a potential of going up to 2500 or 2600 as soon as the fed starts cutting interest rate right when fed starts cutting interest rate what will happen dollar value will in decrease and also gold price will increase maybe during the first two rate cuts where 0.25 or 0.25 in the month of September and November when they reduce the interest rate. Maybe gold might not increase that much. But next year, my personal opinion is in India, 24 karat gold can go up to 7,500 to 8,000 rupees. This is my personal expectation. So what I'm doing, I'm personally accumulating gold bees. This also is not any investment advice. In the current market condition, what I'm doing because of market uncertainty. Also on 4th June, we have election results coming in. That time market can be very volatile. So whichever stocks I have invested, where I made more than 80%, 90% or even 50%. If I don't want to hold those stocks anymore, at least I'm booking my profits in these stocks. Let's say 100 rupees I invested, it became 120, 130 rupees right so what i'm doing 30 rupees worth of stock i'm removing from the market and just keeping the capital invested in certain stocks i have completely exited from the market so this is what i've been doing as of now in terms of investment now let's quickly discuss about nifty and bank nifty trading plan for tomorrow traders this is bank nifty chart 15 minutes time frame you can see previously bank nifty continuously it was moving towards the downside forming lower highs and lower lows only from recent time market is forming a low high higher low and higher high so here it is showing some kind of bullishness now here i would wish to draw a trend line continuously this trend line is acting as support next if market opens flat or gap down this trend line can act as the next support level in the market from recent swing low to swing high if i draw the fibonacci level you can see this is our 618 level right this is a trend reversal area so after coming here, if market gives a breakdown also here, there is a possibility of this trend continuing. That is why I am having a bullish view about Bank Nifty. Now next thing which I want to discuss about is this channel pattern. You can see here Bank Nifty has been trading in a channel. In the future, if it is moving towards the downside, we know where is the next channel support from where Bank Nifty can reverse. This moment I am expecting only if market is extremely bearish, right? If it opens with huge gap down here or here, that is when market can come up to 47,700 or else at the upper level itself, we can see a reversal. At what levels can we see the reversal? For that, from recent swing low to swing high, we will draw the Fibonacci. Market is holding on to the upper range. Now, let's say tomorrow Bank Nifty opened with a gap up. Previously, this area is acting as resistance after looking at this gap up. Many people will enter a call, but what we will do is we will extend the Fibonacci. We imagine market give a breakout here. We are not going to enter any kind of trade, but from the upper level, if market corrects up to 48,150, 48,140, this is the first area where I see Bank Nifty has a potential of moving towards the upside. See, during this breakout, call option buyers will enter. To remove them, market might first correct. When market comes out of this range, put option traders will enter to trap them again market can reverse so with that view i am bullish about bank nifty now in case from the current zone itself in case bank nifty opens somewhere here or here it corrects the first support can be 48023 next support can be 47900 this is the two zone from where i expect bank nifty to recover so immediate flat or gap up opening i'm not planning for any call option trade i will wait for a reversal so that i get fair price for my entry before market starts reversing i don't think market will move so much to trap people who are here because they would have already made profit during this move i'm not taking the saturday's movement in the market into consideration only based on friday's market i feel that first market can correct later it can reverse so with this view i'm having a bullish view about bank nifty you can see this is a resistance area market can break this level come down retest that time we'll be looking at fibonacci levels we will extend this from here any bullish setup i'll be looking for a call option trade where my target will be 
48,500 and then 48,600. So in the future also market can retest this level and then still continue the trend. My view about Bank Nifty as of now is bullish. So that is the kind of setup I'll be looking into. But in the private telegram group, we will identify support and resistance level in case the view changes also during the live market. I will share one or two minutes video explaining my view. So this is about Bank Nifty. Let's look into Nifty. Traders, this is Nifty chart 15 minutes time frame. Now there is one big difference between Nifty and Bank Nifty chart. First of all, both Nifty and Bank Nifty, it moved towards the downside, right? No change in that. But if you look at Bank Nifty chart, Bank Nifty has just recovered so much. But Nifty's recovery is more compared to Bank Nifty. I personally feel at the upper level, there is no other stop loss hunting area in Nifty. If Nifty is indicating our market will open somewhere near 22,600. So at this zone, there is no stop loss hunting area. That you can see continuously, this is a channel pattern support in the market. So if market opens with a gap up, breaking the trend line resistance, I personally feel at the upper level, there can be any bearish setup. I'll be looking for a put option trade. Why? first reason no stop loss hunting level second at the trend line it would have attracted buyers after trapping buyers market can reverse to this channel pattern market has broken this also for a buyer it will be multiple confirmation my view is at the upper level we can expect a reversal after the gap up market can try to fill the gap as well as come to the support 22,400 area now let's say nifty open flat or gap down then i will wait for a correction after this correction, I will consider this area as support from where I expect Nifty to recover. First, market has to consolidate a bit before it continues the trend. This is as per my view. Even if you draw Fibonacci level, this will come to 0 0.5 where market has moved up, corrected after correction. Chances of continuing the trend, forming higher lows and higher highs is high. That is where I'll be looking for a call option trade. But at the upper level, I'll be looking for a Put option trade in nifty further update will be shared in the free telegram channel you can scan this qr code to join the group in the private telegram group during the live market i will discuss about important levels and my view during the live market if you enjoyed this analysis don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you think this content will be useful for your friends please share it with them now that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one